What's up, everyone? My name is Chris Liu, and welcome to a stranger game that I found called 18. Um, apparently, it's not a horror game or anything at all. It's just a game, a calming, relaxing game about picking flowers. Something about that seems innately fishy. So we're going to jump right into it. Okay, so mouse, of course, moves your head around. Uh, it's a bit choppy, looks to be. Uh, WASD to move. God, that noise is annoying as shit. Is it exactly what it says it is? What the hell's going on? It's nighttime. Lighthouse, okay. Very strange. Uh, where's the next... Is there another flower? Ooh, Stonehenge head. Let's go to that. Is there any other flowers or anything? Damn, talking about fast-moving daylight. Jesus. Talking about time flying. Now, is that thing just, like, straight up looking at me? Okay, no, it doesn't turn with my face. This is awfully loud for a little flower-picking game. Oh, did I miss it? Okay, I got a flower. See if I can't get this other. Is there another flower somewhere nearby? No, but nothing but forests. Okay. I just saw it and I thought it might be interesting, so I took a look at it. I do like the graphics are very simplistic. I'll be honest with you, the grass looks like a bunch of flat dicks. I mean, I'll be dead serious on that. No offense to the to the design. Ooh, raining. Okay. There doesn't seem to be any more flowers to collect. Oh, wait. There's some. In the woods. No no insult to the developer or how you made this. I'm just going to say it. I'll be the. I'll point out the obvious. The grass looks like a bunch of flat dick. See, look, look, look at that. Look at that. I know it's kind of high res for me for some strange reason. Look at that. It looks like a bunch of flat dicks. Too many trees. And it's getting very laggy, very choppy. That's probably just my computer. And I'm getting stuck on stuff. Um, where's the light? Where's the light to my flower? Where is it? I don't like the rain. I have a feeling something's just going to come charging at me. Seriously, though. Where is it? Oh. dirt 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 did I pick it? Did I get it? I think I got it. Okay. Is there another flower nearby? I can't tell. I'll tell you what, we're just gonna wander blindly into the woods. See where that leads us. Ugh, I keep getting stuck on stuff. Oh my god. I do not trust these woods right now. Just go the hell out of here. And I'm stuck. Why do I not like this? I'm getting, like, chills. I don't know if I'm just being irrational and stupid or what. Okay, let's leave the woods, I suppose. If I quit getting caught on trees... Okay, let's just follow some type of path here. Let's go towards the sunlight, see what that does. This is supposed to be calming, is it not? And I'm getting nothing but freaking chills, bruh. Okay, now let's try... What in the hell was that? Alright. Lightning! The... Ooh, flower! I see it! I see the light! I see the light! That was not from anything, that's just me being obnoxious and stupid. Now let's try to keep straight here. Okay, sounds like the thunder and such is dying ish. If I quit getting caught on trees, that would be just absolutely fantastic. Alright, so we're following some kind of light here. I guess. Is it still here? Did I did I pass it? Um, I'm making this way more complicated than it needs to be, I'm sure.
pretty sure I'm making this unbelievably complicated. Where is it? It's very difficult to see where the hell I'm going and all these trees. Ugh. Ugh. Did I miss it? I walked right freaking past it, didn't I? I think I did. Um, it's right in front of me. Okay, straight ahead. And I'm not far if it's moving. If I could stop running into stuff, that'd be fan freaking fantastic. Ah, so laggy, so choppy. That's probably my computer. But oh, it vanishes just like that. What the fuck? What the fuck, bruh? There you are, you sexy little flower. Okay, so it's nighttime now. I think I don't know what time it is. Hello. Is there safety in this? I'm just going to walk straight past all these trees. Walk back to that little rocky outcrop thing. Right here. Hi. Oh, 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 hi. Hi. Alright, where's the next flower light? Doesn't appear to be one. So we're going to go up this and see where this takes me. Watch something just like jump up and kill me. I am fully expecting this. Wasn't I just here? Alright, I see no more flower lights. So we are actually just going to wander a bit. Okay, I'm good on time. There's a Stonehenge thing. I love it. I really do. These graphics are surprisingly nice. For a simplistic game, the guy did a very good job. This kind of reminds me a slight... Oh, there's a light. It reminds me a slight bit of Slender in only the respect that you go around collecting stuff. Uh, the graphics... Can, or not the graphics. The controls are slidey. Like, you take your finger off like right now. I slid. Like... I mean, in some respects, I guess that's good. But in this one, with a lot of terrain that you could bump into, it's not a good idea. What am I, Frodo tossing a ring away? Okay, so is that lava going down? Nope, okay. Let's go to the top of the lighthouse. I'm guessing that's where my next stop's going to be. Alright, so... I'm just gonna keep walking. It's like a cloud. I can't look all the way up, okay? Now again, I don't know if the shifty walking is part of the experience or not. But I will say, it is very difficult to... I mean, I've never really gotten the hang of... Not, not, not necessarily gotten the hang of, but... Uh, I've never much appreciated slidey controls, but that's just... That's just me. I mean... Okay, this is getting weird. Okay. But that's just me. That doesn't mean it doesn't add to the ambiance of the game itself. Eh! Don't jump! Don't fall! God, this is twisty-turny! Is that another Stonehenge guy? Oh my god, it is! Let's see where this is. Okay, so we're in the lighthouse. Spooky darkness, alright. Oh! So it's a calendar, okay. Okay, Monday, Wednesday... Okay, all the days start at the same time. This is psychedelic. It's a phone booth. Okay, cool. At certain moments of lucidity, the mechanical aspect of their gestures, their meaningless pantomime, makes silly everything that surrounds them. A man is talking on the telephone behind a glass partition. You cannot hear him, but you see his incomprehensible dumb ship. 
You wonder why he is alive. Albert Camus. Okay. Okay. What does this mean for me? Well, it certainly means I'm... Darkness? Oh! Hello. Let's go around, see what's around. Um... Where... Can I go back in? Nothing in here, okay. So, with what little time we got left, we're going to go ahead and go wander de back down this little pathway. Hopefully there's a way that I can cut straight through the mountain without having to traverse the awkwardness that is the mountain. Hmm. I guess this is the only way I can go. Okay. Can I jump? Nope. But I can slide like a motherfucker. I guess I'm just going to traverse this entire path here again. Oh? Oh, is that another flower light? I think that's another flower light. Why am I excited about that? Because I guess it's just advancing the story of it for me. Hey, look! Another Stonehenge head thing. Was that there before? Don't think so. Can I... Can I traverse the landscape and jump down? It's making music that is awkward and inviting at the same time. I want to be a part of this music. Oh, it's going away. Okay, looks like I gotta traverse the entire thing. Sorry I keep looking up again. I, I know in a bunch of my videos I've said I'm sorry for looking up, but I really am because... I'm just checking for time, making sure I'm not going to lose time here. Um, I'm going to try to... Uh, I can't jump. Is there like certain distances I can't jump or can't slide down? It seems to be a different path than last time. It may not be. I may just be being very, very dumb. No, this is definitely a different path. It's taking me straight to the sand. And there are waves! It is moving! I like that! That is awesome! Waves at the beach. Ironically, I live at the beach. Like, the beach is no more than maybe 20 feet from my house. You may think, oh, that's pretty freaking cool. It's not. Not for me. I just never liked the beach. My girlfriend's getting me into the beach, but... Blech. Sand. Alright. So, now... Okay, that alien droning is apparently flowers. Oh god, that is an ear-shattering noise. Pick a different sound, please. Something softer that doesn't sound like I'm getting ready to get beamed up and probed. Is that a boat? God, it is so slow to move. Yep, it's a boat. Eighteen. Oh, 18 flowers! Right, 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 no. Made by Adam Wagoner. Good job, Adam. With music by Logan Richardson. Thanks for playing. Press any button to exit. Okay. That was interesting. Um, had a, it, it was, it, it was very slender, in my time, okay, yeah, it was very slender-esque in only one respect, in that you had to go collecting stuff, an awkward environment. Um, the controls, I, I didn't like the sliding aspect of it, but they were easy to kind of adjust. I just have a pet peeve about it, and it's nothing against the actual game itself. The graphics are pretty good, very smooth. Uh, well, not smooth, but nice for a simplistic creation. Um... The whole going into the telephone booth thing, I don't get the purpose of that. I don't even remember what was said entirely, but it was very deep and made me think ways that I didn't really want to, because, well, it's a game. <laughs> um, the landscape is pretty well designed, I like that. Um, very simple. Um, the forest thing got me. It's 
I just kept running into stuff. There was no clear path. I had to constantly leave the forest to find the light. That may have been the point. I don't know. But, uh, overall pretty decent for something small and simple. Um, link to this game is going to be in the description if you guys want to be sent on a funkadelic trip like I just was. Um, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Um, link to this, uh, well, I'm bleeding. Link to this game will be in the description as well the National Alliance on Mental Illness. Support them in any way you can. As well the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. Um, feel free to make those resources available. Um, I employ that you do. Or if you know, if you or someone you know is suffering, feel free to make those resources available. I highly implore it. God, my brain is just fried today. Um, make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you guys want to see any other kind of games, weird ones like this or otherwise. And uh, until next time, see you guys later. Keep running in circles.